Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for weekly automotive mechanical content for the average shade tree mechanic. All right, y'all, so in this video, something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time, uh, but I really needed some help trying to decide which color combo to go with. So as you can see, I took off the grill. If you don't know how to take off a grill, go ahead and check out the video on the top right. I'll go ahead and post the link to a previous video that I did taking off the grill. Here it is off. So essentially what I'm going to end up doing is taking off the center portion. I'm not going to paint the frame today because I really want to see uh, if I should go white or black. But I do know which color I want to go here. So I got to take off this bracket off first. And this is 8 millimeter bolts all across the top. And then there's tabs right here. That's more so uh, connecting the frame of the grill and the center portion. All right, so this is what I'm going to be painting today. Let me go ahead and uh, take this off and actually move into the next step of actually uh, starting to plasti dip the grill. So I'm pretty excited. Thanks for all the feedback. Let me get straight to it. All righty. So after taking off 10 bolts, they're 8 millimeter, remove that uh, the bracket, and then you're going to have to. Uh, pretty much pull off 18 tabs um, hard to explain anyways look like that you kind of have to push this out and then push the tab in so that it releases uh, but once you figure that out essentially this portion comes off so let me go ahead and put this down right there doing this with one hand uh, all right so here it is Here's the frame. So I'm not painting the frame today, or maybe I will later on in the day. I just wanted to see how that that portion, the inserts look after it's painted. This actually looks like you can take that off based off of the tabs that you see there and replace it with something else. Uh, so that's something I may be looking into doing. Maybe just taking it off and plastic dipping that white too. But uh, yeah, let's focus on this portion first. So after meticulously cleaning this, it took me quite a bit, maybe like 20 minutes, really got into all the crevices and whatnot of this insert. It looks pretty good, it's probably the best it's ever looked, uh, but no one ever cleans their grill inserts like this. I went ahead and cleaned it, uh, and then last step was paint prep. Uh, like I said in the previous video, that will come in handy, not only to ceramic coat, uh, but think, you know, jobs like this. So. I tape these off just because I don't want the tabs uh, to really get painted and then impair uh, the way it really clamps onto the bracket. Uh, these are fine. I'll stay. I'll really stay away from these, but uh, I'm still gonna get overspray on everything. Pretty much, I used the hair dryer, made sure it was all dry. There's no wet spots so that the paint actually grasps on. Pro tip: I actually went ahead and did this. So pretty much heats up the paint so that it it uh, sprays out evenly. Uh, it's not hindered by you know a cold temperature. So just quick note: some people do let it sit in a hot hot water bucket, uh, but this also works. So let me go ahead and let that uh, warm up for a few more minutes, and then actually begin spraying the grow insert. All right, guys. So time for the first coat. Perfect. Alright, so that's the first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry out for 10 to 15 minutes and then come back for the second coat. I'm probably gonna shoot for at least four coats, but probably end up doing uh, at least five, maybe even six. Alright, so time for the second coat. So I waited 15 minutes in order to do the second coat. The thing is about this grill is that 
uh, you're really gonna have to paint in different angles so like kind of shooting up and then straight on and then kind of shooting down in order to get within all those little crevices of this specific grill. Coat number three. All right, so that was coat number three. I just took this off and I'm still trying to figure out what I should do with this. Either paint it white or maybe black. I'm leaning towards painting it white. Coat number four. All right, so this is coat number five. As you can see, I started painting that white, so we'll see how that comes out in the very end. Also, in between coats, uh, remember I said I'm giving myself 15 minutes in between coats, but really for the last five minutes of the wait, I turn on the hair dryer and just pretty much set this can right in front of it so that it's warm by the time I actually start painting again. So just, uh, just one thing that I'm doing in order for the paint to actually come out uh, efficiently and in a good stream. All right guys, so tapping into my second can and uh, also going to the sixth coat. I think this is gonna be the last coat. I'm gonna see how it is after it's dried. I may have to tap into maybe a seventh coat, uh, but I think I'm gonna be good with the sixth one. All right guys, so it's been about a week, maybe even two weeks. Now, it's been one week. So I finished Plasti dipping the grill. I kept the front emblem white uh, and I actually painted it black and then I actually painted it again white. So that's the look that I liked after trying both colors. I threw on my bug deflector, chrome bug deflector. I tried painting that. It, looked, it didn't look good black. Uh, I don't think I want to try it white. So for now, I'm going to roll with what I got until I get a black ranch hand bumper. Uh, but until then, I'm going to just be rocking this look. So let me go ahead and actually show you the grill painted. Alright, so I hope y'all like it. If y'all don't, that's still cool. Uh, but I love the look of these white grill inserts. Uh, like I said, I've had it for about a week. Um, I have, if, if you can see that, there's a small fly and it's guts. Just brush it off, everything's good to go. No rock chips. Uh, that's why you wanna do a lot of coats. You wanna do six, uh, five, five to seven coats. It took me six, but I can see someone uh, doing another coat I think it was pretty thick and so I'm pretty happy with the results about the emblem I'm still not sure about the color but I'm gonna go ahead and rock it for quite a while at least until I get a different bumper to replace this chrome one so yeah we'll see what the future holds for us uh, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and hold with what I got and enjoy the look of the front of the truck I think it looks awesome I can't complain I mean it was 10 bucks to actually get this painted uh, maybe an hour an hour and a half of my time I let it dry overnight and uh, that's about it so I love the look no rock chips if you have any questions or comments go ahead and let me know below also before you watch another video go ahead and check this one out right here and until next time ciao Perfect.